back again guys um today i'm going to show you how to switch out your regular epson dye inks the ones that come with the um with the printer with um textile inks so first thing you do turn your printer on and this is just your initial installation i'm going to do another um full maintenance video um how to clean the printed clean the nozzles and what's not but this is just the initial once you receive your printer it comes with the dye inks so you could do some test prints get familiar with the printer and the software and then when you get to the point where you want to install textile inks this is what you do so now that it's on you're going to press your ink button and you want to get it in that that area right here and then i'm going to remove all the dye inks so these are just your factory dye inks okay get those out of the way okay and if you look down here i have those are the ones that i just took out on my cleaning solution i have a little plate here with um, some cleaning solution and a foam swab from um firebird this is not a cotton swab do not use a cotton swab okay this is um my refillable cartridges these are filled with with cleaning solution okay so these are going to be your cleaning cartridges these are going to be your ink i have these filled with um textile inks so i'm just using these as an example so you could either use these or you could use your um ciss um your bulking system so here's what you're gonna need to do got my i'm on inks right here you're gonna take this swab right here it's soaked in cleaning solution you're gonna kind of squeeze it off grab your paper towel and come over here and you're gonna clean around each nozzle okay try not to let it don't let it don't, don't soak it too much so it, it fills up with um cleaning solution because you don't want that cleaning solution to run or leak over to your um your ribbon cable because you could short out your print head like that so as you can see i'm just cleaning around the nozzles okay and then you could just damp it off in the paper towel just like that and then come back over here i dip it in the cleaning solution once again damp it off so it's not too it doesn't have too many lick too much liquid in it and you just clean around it okay and then you use your paper towel you see it's, it comes off clean once you use the paper towel and then you could just go on to the next nozzle okay so you see Dump it off so you're just trying to get rid of that dye ink out of the way come back over here just try not to use too much um, fluid because you don't want it to, to leak over on your ribbon cable and short out your um, your print head. Okay. So I got all of them and then I'm going to go over it once again. So you have to have patience when you're doing this and I'm going to tell you why as soon as I'm, I'm done. You just take your time clean around each of them until you don't see any color coming up on the um on the swab so like this first one you see it's, it's clean and you, you you move the swab upwards because if you look at the nozzles once you're doing it you'll see that all the holes are on the top of the um on the nozzle so you're, you're just wiping it like upwards and wiping it around okay let me go back over here some more cleaning solution damp it off come back over here yeah and that's firebird it's the best cleaning solution okay damp it off so right now i got rid of all the dye ink and the reason why i did that is because when you install your 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 cleaning cartridges you don't want to contaminate your cleaning cartridges with with, with ink 
you want your cleaning cartridges to stay clean so even when when it's time to refill them with cleaning solution the cartridges themselves stay clean because these nozzles are going to go up inside the cleaning cartridges okay so all you're going to do is after you remove your um your die cartridges you're gonna and you clean up your around the nozzles you're gonna take your your cleaning cartridges that are filled with cleaning solution and then you're gonna install these one by one just like that your black yellow black light cayenne uh, light magenta magenta and cayenne so once these are in you'll remove your your breather tabs just like that these have to be removed for the printhead to actually print otherwise this the cartridges will, they'll just stifle because these are your um air holes or your breather holes um so once you take those out it's like a ventilation hose whatever they call them but they have to be out so you leave those out and um install them you run three printhead cleans and after you're done with the print head cleans you remove them i think once you install them and you turn the printer on most of the time it will automatically do a print head clean because it picked up the new cartridges so you remove those and then you just grab your ink cartridges or your your ciss um as you can see i have yellow black white white magenta and cayenne and then you install these and that's it you're good to go so that's it for this video